Knowledge, the victims of the recent tropical cyclone Ayasa. I kept thinking. Thank you, thank you very much. Miss um, Blavinaka, and uh, good, morning, uh, good morning to you. I'm sorry, I just got so carried away um, thinking about how this Ayasa and COVID is impacting, well, Fiji, but COVID impacting the rest of the globe. And hearing from the ambassador saying 2021 will bring hope and I, I'm in total agreement with that. that. We need to be positive, we need to keep our hopes high and eventually we will be over, we will be able to overcome all the challenges and sorrows that is currently plaguing um, especially our people here in Fiji. But Your Excellency, um, invited guests, once again a very good morning to you all. Uh, Director, I took note of what you said, how we can use um, heritage, arts, and cultures to bring about joy uh, to those people who are currently suffering. And you did mention the performance by the Fiji Police Band uh, in, 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 in Vanua Levu recently that would have really brought about some laughter and some solace to the, to the people. But that's not enough. There's a lot of work that we need to do. And for us in Fiji, we know that we are impacted by natural disasters all throughout, whether it's drought, whether it's flooding, whether it's cyclone. So we will need to keep up our hopes and we will need to work together to ensure that we uh, bring about the much needed support with the resources that we currently have. And at this point in time, I'd like to thank all our partners and all our donors and all our stakeholders, our NGOs, individual families and communities who actually hit the ground the day after TC Yasa traveling from the city here, traveling from the Western Division, just to provide relief assistance to the families who are suffering. But um, that aside, ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the, uh, the Chinese Cultural Center. And as mentioned, I was here when this Cultural Center opened, and I can see a lot of faces that have been with us for the last five years. And it is indeed a pleasure. And Your Excellency, I'd like to congratulate the center for coming so far these five years. And I hope that we continue to grow. We continue to engage with people. We continue to uh, bind people through cultural performances, whether it's songs, whether it's poetry, whether it's arts, whether it's performances, that we have continued to enjoy from the center over the last uh, five years and so. Um, <clears throat> through this uh, partnership with the Cultural Center, ladies and gentlemen, we have been able to increase our cultural and educational exchanges as well between our people and of course strengthen our already strengthened friendly diplomatic relationships that the two countries enjoy. Thank you very much for that. Since 1975, um, when, when we opened our doors to cooperation and exchanges between our two countries, China has steadily and increasingly become a key source of foreign direct investment, trade and tourism earnings for us and we thank you for those partnerships. Again mention, oh, before I forget, the former director, uh, it was a pleasure to see him and I hope the message can go to him in June that we do miss them and I personally enjoyed working uh, with the former director and I look forward to uh, working with the new director as well. So thank you for that. Uh, there was mention of COVID um, uh, in 2020 and again of course, COVID has put a closure to uh, closure on our tourism market in China, placed restrictions on our travel, and we pray that this won't be too long before we can travel to China and other parts of the world, and of course, welcome our tourists back to our friendly shows like we once did again. Hope, ladies and gentlemen, over the last 45 years, I think China has proven to be a very good friend of Fiji and has actually stood with us shoulder to shoulder in providing cooperation and assistance in whatever challenging situation our country has been. And uh, 
coming to TC as uh, again mentioned by His Excellency, the government um, of the People's Republic of China responded very swiftly to offer, offer assistance of $420,000 towards our national disaster relief and rehabilitation works uh, for our affected TCS communities in the Northern Division. And we once again thank you for that. Of course, we thank the Red Cross Society of China and the Chinese Enterprises in Fiji for their timely assistance to the Fiji Red Cross Society in Fiji <coughs> in the first phase of immediate relief and humanitarian assistance for Yasa. And as I was walking along the corridor to this room here, we had a quick chat and Excellency, I'd like to thank you uh, for your support of assistance as we move into the uh, next few months to see how best we can coordinate and uh, see uh, how best we can again uh, collaborate in the education sector to assist our affected schools, etc. Et yes, mention again, 85 schools, uh, more than 85 schools in the Northern Division and the, uh, the maritime areas, but uh, we, we are lucky that the majority of them sustained minor damages, which we have been able till today to fix. There are about 32 schools, minus two, 30, 30 schools that is still on our list. And um, for those 30 schools, we have started arranging materials to be sent to the Northern Division so that by 18th, we at least have a roof over our classrooms that have been damaged for our students to be welcome back. And, and I can assure you that we are on target and uh, we will definitely rebuild it. But that's just the first phase of rehab. Of course, the rebuild process will come after we have our engineers and consultants out there to see how long those structures can last us. But for the time being, I can assure the stakeholders present here that your assistance has been put to good use, and we are really um, geared towards starting our new school, school term for our students come the 18th. So thank you for that. And like I said, we are forever, the people and the government is forever grateful for all the support that we have received. And and I'm so sort of emotional at this moment to say, we can't thank these individuals and organizations and countries enough. And assistance continues to flow. People individually are contacting us, organizations are contacting us. How do we assist those students who have been affected? Stationery is just coming in, school bags are just coming in. And that is the good spirit that we, that we, our people have. And I'd like to thank uh, everybody for that. <coughs> um, director and the staff for the China Cultural Center in Fiji, thank you for building a bridge of understanding, a bridge of knowledge, and an exchange of uh, your, your beautiful culture and traditions in allowing our people to become better acquainted with the Chinese culture and people. We actually have benefited greatly from our cultural acquaintance, whether it's been your the love for your food, whether it's been the love for your costumes and artwork, the Fijian community has benefited. And I'm sure a lot of students who have uh, <coughs> benefited from the educational exchange program will agree with, with me that once you go to China, you want to go back uh, to China over and over again. I've managed to travel close to three times, and I enjoyed the hospitality, and uh, I'm sure as board is open, we will be able to travel freely to, to uh, get them more or become more culturally acquainted. So ladies and gentlemen, again, I'd like to thank uh, the, the former director again, and I would like to convey my best wishes to him and his wife while they're braving the cold in Canada. But I'm sure they are always welcome in Fiji. And uh, I hope, like I said, the center progresses tenfold, and we continue to build better relationships and acquaintance with, with your people and with our people. To all those partners here, Jenny, Ms. Um, Ganilau, and all the other partners, I would also like to thank you for providing support to the to the center all these years, and uh, and and your friendships are very valuable to us, and we will always treasure the memories and the moments that we have of this center over the last five years. Every every picture I saw in the gallery had me, so I'm like a family. Uh, I'm like a family to this uh, center, I think. And there's something that always pulls me to it. And um, so again, I'm here uh, to do the, uh, to sort of at this uh, university. And it's, it's always a pleasure, Your Excellency. It's always a pleasure to be in your company and enjoy your hospitality and continue to learn more and more uh, about your culture. So on behalf of the government of Fiji, on behalf of the people of Fiji, I'd like to wish the, the Chinese community, the Chinese Cultural Center, the very best for the year 2021. 
And uh, like I said, may this year bring us much hope that we are looking for. So thank you very much and congratulations once again. Thank <laughs> you.